Hi, I have set up uh, for your inspection a beautiful little inland fume trap. This is an accessory that will, it takes and the fumes away from you so that you won't breathe them. It's going to be a little loud, so I'm not going to have it on during our, um, our soldering because I, I have always held my breath and I blow to keep the solder away from me. Also, a little thing I'm doing is taking all the solder balls that happen and I'm letting them cool. They are very hot. Hot solder looks exactly like cold solder, so be careful. Okay, we're gonna turn off the fume trap. And move that out of the way for now. And then I'm going to start by soldering this window. I'm going to solder one line at a time. I am going to stay away from the edge, a quarter of an inch on all of these pieces of glass so that I can put a border on this after it's all finished. I will be showing you that too. We have our solder and we need a lot of solder. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out at least, at least six inches of solder here. I'm going to dip into my flux and I'm going to put an amount of, I'm gonna put a line of flux onto my copper foil. I'm going to then take my iron and I'm going to lay it down onto the ball of solder that I have tacked. And then I'm going to add some solder. You can do this from the top or the bottom, but you want to move your iron at a slow pace, allowing the solder to flow behind the iron as you go. Now I have gotten to the end and as you can see this 6040 runs very very nicely. and I have a nice solder line. I do have a couple of wrinkles. I do not care for wrinkles. They are, they make, they do not make me feel good. Most of the time I use 50-50. I can fix wrinkles if I use 50-50. So I'm going to use some 50-50 solder and show you how that acts. It doesn't matter if you use 50-50 or 60-40, they will both work. They just work a little differently. So I'm going to do that line. I'm going to come all the way around here. I can stop any place there is a solder joint because I can pick up from that solder joint and continue. So again, I'm gonna warm up this solder glob here and then start moving. I'm going to add my solder as I go. And I want to keep a ball of solder behind my soldering iron. I am able to see this solder ball behind my iron and I'm going to continue to move down this line adding a little solder at a time to my iron. I don't continually push solder onto this, onto the iron because that will make too much solder. And I will show you the problems that brings in just a bit. If I have a problem with my solder, with 50-50, I can go back and I can touch it up and I can create a nice smooth solder joint. 
I can move things around. Okay, I'm gonna start here and come back to the, where I stopped and join the two areas. And I join the two areas by going straight up and straight down. What happens with solder and copper foil is that the copper foil gets heated with the flux. You add the solder and then you must get away so that the solder can solidify and become a nice, a nice mound. Here again, I'm going to start by heating this area up and then adding some solder as I go to this area until, oh, I got a little bit of solder on there. That You have to try to be careful when you're soldering not to drop solder onto your glass. It won't stick, that's not the problem. What the problem is, is that if you drop solder on your glass, you'll break it. And that is no fun. Flux, flux, flux. You'll hear me say that in your nightmares. Oh, there's a little bit of trailing there. I'm going to catch that up. And it's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the 6040 and see how that's working. I'm going to do this line next. Oops, I don't like flux all over my table. Okay, so there again, put solder on your iron so that you are leaving an amount of solder behind the iron. If you do not understand, I will explain it in a picture. nice okay this is what I'm doing okay I am keeping a ball of solder here behind my iron tip that leaves a perfect soldering line here Okay, I hope you guys got that. If you not, don't, rewind, do it again. Okay, so I can go between, from one spot to another here, I, but I have to heat first and then draw. Heat and draw. We do use funny names, but you don't want to paint. You can draw, but you can't paint. It's pretty easy to remember those two things. Drawing is one line going in one direction. Painting is going back and forth. And the reason you do not want to go back and forth is because solder follows heat. You go back and forth and then solder is going to go back and forth with you. It's not going to know what to do. Please don't do that. Don't paint. I need to move. I need to get some more solder. I need to get some more solder out. And then I need to put some more flux. Okay, 
Now here again, I don't want to go to the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. I'm going to add solder and I can see that solder glob right behind and I'm leaving that amount of solder. It's perfect. You can go straight down and straight up. If you paint, you will leave balls of solder. You will not have a nice soldered area. You can always go back over a soldering line if you don't like it, but you don't want to go over your soldering line all the time and continue to stay in one place. If you stay in one place, you can break your glass. The copper tape is directly connected to your glass and it can heat up a piece of glass quite quickly especially thin glass. So if you have a thin piece and you are staying and fixing your piece a lot, you can break it and that's really not any fun. If you want to find out if your glass is hot, what you want to do is you want to put your finger on it. This glass is very warm, especially right there where I went over it two or three times. All of that glass is very warm, but it's a big enough piece that I'm not going to have to worry about it breaking. There's so many things to soldering and if you watch over and over, you can learn a lot of tricks. There's a lot of things that I do that I am sometimes afraid to tell people about because if I do and you do them wrong, you can break your glass.